Thank you, Jerry. Uh, thank you for your morning story. I think it kept us all uh, entertained. And uh, thank you, Gigi, and to all of you for being here tonight. I'm honored to receive the Chairman's Award, especially from Jerry, because you are such a good chair. From you, I've observed the power of thoughtfully listening to a discussion before jumping in with an opinion. And as your deep and sincere commitment to strengthening not only your long-standing family business, but our shared community entirely. Unlike my children, I was not an athlete or a musician in school. I was a good student, and the recognition for good students is individual achievement. I learned about teamwork then, not on the playing field or in the band shell, but in organizations. In organizations, we learn that collective wisdom and experience is needed to ensure that we are thinking broadly and making reasoned decisions about the next course of actions. Do we oppose that particular county council bill outright or try to make it better? Do we wade carefully towards a new program or do we dive right in? We also learn the importance of stepping up when the time comes. In organizations, I've certainly learned that my own opinion and view is not the only one of value. But nevertheless, I'm gratified that this board thinks it's helpful. It may actually be one of the few times in my life that I'm thanked for being a little impatient and maybe a little cheeky as well. Five years ago, when I was inducted as chair of the Bethesda Chamber, I said that it is not enough for our businesses to endure, they must thrive. And the Montgomery County Chamber is thriving and works every day to ensure that you, its members, can continue to thrive here. I'm looking forward to working with our incoming chair, Jim Young, and the rest of the board to improve our business climate and our economic opportunities, and in fact, our entire community. I have to close with just a few thank yous. To my colleagues at Johns Hopkins, our Montgomery County campus, and our colleagues in Baltimore, they thrive by adapting to new ways of sharing knowledge with students, researchers, entrepreneurs, and in fact, the world. And to my colleagues at Suburban Hospital, who thrive by their commitment to mission and to improving the health of their patients every day. And most importantly, to my husband, Mike, who absolutely makes sure that I thrive. Thank you all very much. <laughs>